Hello guys, if you like my awesome gaming videos, my programming and web development courses, my editing courses and editing videos, and my tech talks and tech guidance, then you can consider subscribing to my channel and click on this bell icon to stay connected. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So in this particular video, you're gonna learn how to create a complete full stack application using the Django REST framework, which is really easy and simple to create a REST API. And also you're gonna learn how to integrate it with the React application. So we're gonna use the best practices for the React. For the state management, we use the React Redux and you will understand everything about the Redux. If you are really into Redux, this is the part for you. And I'm gonna work with how the payload is working, how the event occur, when you click on this button, how the actions is working and how the action changes the event and the reducer gets it and update these states in the store and how you can use the store in any component in your react project you will understand every single thing in redux so in the previous playlist i also created django with uh, react but it was just a code but it doesn't have any state management but in this project you will have the state management with all the latest features and all the latest libraries and also i already discussed the react router dom package version 6 and this is very useful for anyone to very new in react router dom version 6 you will also learn about it and the react bootstrap framework for building our designing our ui so you'll learn a complete project how you can do that even the file handling and the image uh, uploading technique is also added there for the django power portion as also from the react front end portion just don't watch the tutorial like a netflix or any movie okay just watch the tutorial like you want to make something build something and understand something just write a note and just try to do whatever i do and what i teach you just follow the steps and you're going to create amazing projects in the near future so let's deep dive and see the project demo by yourself and understand what we're going to build in this particular project and let's check it out and this is the page where i'm going to root directory local host 3000 and here we have all the project list list of project in a card view first we have the project title image and the category but if you click on view you're gonna get to project details okay and it's based on particular id and you have your description category title image and project demo link okay if you want to go and you can see our github link for this particular project this is actually the project management system project and if you want to update this you can really update this thing if you want to go to back end to uh, front end okay and then we click on update and now as you can see it is updated to front end suppose i want to delete this one as well as you can see it's deleted and same as this is it is deleted so all of our thing we can be done we can update it we can delete it we can view all the information and what we can do we can also add some information like give some title like test title and select web development and just give it a test description demo link here and give it some images to give and now as you can see if i go to home and this is the view if i go to the view we're gonna go to our detail page as you can see by its id okay so this is a simple project to show you how can we implement the redux and react with the django api so if i see you the code you can see all the information like our models if i go to the client in the client you will see components and in the components we have reducers to do all the crude operations you're going to work with this uh, reducers and we're going to store it as you can see we will combine all of our reducers and we're going to work with this we middle our thunk we're going to use to do asynchronous task and also if i go to our actions here in the actions we're going to do all the things like update update takes a project data with a particular id then we call our exios put to update the particular information and same for detail detail needs and particular id from which we can get the information of each project and we have adding the project and we have the exit.post request and also for getting the list of project that we have here we just use this action exist.get and call the api which is our django rest api in the django rest api as you can see if i go to our server here you see the model the serializers the views code how we can do that it's very simple how we can make the backend okay and just connect it the connection is very simple and easy stuff if we go to our backend here and this is our backend and this is called django rest framework which really gives you a very easy rest api how can you do that very simply just create your model and just work with routers and view sets and it's a simple line of code you can build this api very simply and easily if we go to the particular project of id of one as you can see you get the id of one 
as you can see you get all the information like id thumbnail title category all of the thing and you can also delete this from here if you want and you can um, already put request as you can see all the information are is there you can change this information and put request this is the thing that we're going to see in the next part step by step we're going to build the rest api first then in the next part we're going to implement react redux step by step so thanks for watching i'll be seeing you in the next video till then take care bye bye i'll see you in the next video